Hi, my name is Scott Hall, and I'm going to be creating a series of videos that center around the Cessna 172N, like Nancy, Skyhawk 2. This particular aircraft is an add-on produced by Caradado. It is a great add-on for, in this case, FSX. I do not know if it works for with other flight simulators, such as Dovetail Games, Flight Sim World, or X-Plane, or Prepared, or other flight sims, but it does work with FSX. I chose this particular airplane because it is simple to work with. If you look at the panel, you can see if you compare it even to other Cessna Skyhawks, that the panel is simpler to look at. It's, it is not as complex as others or other general aviation aircraft that might be more, that might have, for example, glass cockpits and some Cessna Skyhawks do have that. So I chose it because it is simple and easier to work with. The other reason I chose this aircraft is the Cessna Skyhawk is still commonly used as a trainer and we will work with this particular aircraft for that reason. The series of videos are intended for beginners. They are not intended for those who have been flight simming for a while, but for those who are interested in aviation perhaps are considering a pilot's license in the future. And I hope that these videos will be interesting to you and helpful in perhaps that pursuit if you decide to do it for real. I am going to create two types of videos. One set is going to focus on flying. The other set is going to focus on concepts. So you might be able to skip some of the concept videos, but if you want more detail and understanding in uh, how certain aviation concepts fit into flight, I would recommend that you consider watching those as well. You can apply some of the concepts that we are going to be discussing in these videos to other general aviation aircraft. So even though you might not be flying this particular airplane, you can use the principles and apply them to many other kinds of GA aircraft, again general aviation aircraft, but you will have you will have to do some research to for example the Cessna takes off at 55 knots. Other aircraft take off at other speeds. So you will have to do some research to determine what the takeoff speed is when you rotate off of the, uh, when you depart the runway. The training in this video is intended for flight simulators. It is not a substitute if you want to do the real thing and obtain your private pilot's license. It is not intended as a substitute for that. You will want to learn from a certified flight instructor at a school. So I highly recommend you do that if you want to pursue the real thing. I do hope you enjoy these videos and if you are interested in learning more, I recommend that you subscribe to this particular channel as I will be producing more videos in the future. With that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next set of videos. We'll talk to you next time.